There are many shells in Linux, but I like Fish Shell because it comes with most practical things right out of the box. No additional plugins necessary. First, let's get something straight away. Lots of people will tell you not to use Fish Shell because it's not POSIX compliant. And to that I say, so what? Some people will say use Bash because it actually is POSIX compliant and it is probably default on every Linux distro. But the part they leave out is that Bash has additional things added that are not defined in POSIX, meaning they will only work in Bash. So you really need to know what is what if you want to write something that is completely POSIX compliant. And shell is anyway defined at the beginning of every script and can be written in any editor and in any shell. I will probably make a separate video where I explain this in more detail. And in my opinion, shell script should be used only for some simple tasks that you want to automate on a specific computer. Everything else should be written in some programming language. With that out of the way, let me show you some nice feature that Fish has right out of the box. First, you can install Fish if you are an Arch-based distribution with sudo pacman minus s Fish. And if you want to make Fish shell default shell for your user, you just write in this command. You can also change the shell for other users with this command. The first time you start fish shell, there will be fish folder created and this is the main config file where you can do most of the stuff. And here you can add the fast fetch or neo fetch or whatever you are using just at the end of the file. And then fast fetch will start whenever you start your terminal. I don't like this, it takes too much space, so I don't use it. The nicest feature of the fish shell that I really like are abbreviations. Basically, it's an alias that writes out the command behind the alias. So if I want to, for instance, update my system, I just type in u and enter, and it writes out the whole command. And the way you define abbreviation is just write ABBR, the type of the letter that you want, and the command. This is especially useful if you go through history of your commands. If you write a command and command exists, it will be in one color. And if you write command that doesn't exist, it will be in red by default. You can, of course, change that. Also, it has auto-suggestions for commands, so if you are using the same command multiple times, you can just complete it with uh, clicking the right arrow and pressing enter. Also, if you write a command, you can go with the arrows up and down, it will not list other commands. Also, if you enter the, the existing directory, it will be underlined by default. For me, this is annoying, so I turned it off. The way you turn it off is with this command. Now when I enter the existing folder, it won't be underlined. To turn it back on, you just write in this command. You can put this command just in your config fish file and just write it like that. Also when entering directories, you don't have to type in the correct upper or lower case, you can just type in with all the small letters and it will recognize the folder. The other thing is if you are switching between, between two folders regularly, you can do this with Alt and right and left arrow. Of course, if they are not bind to something else. And if you are not sure what folders do you have after that, you can just press Tab and with arrows go through the folders and just press enter for the folder and that's it. As you can see here by default, Fish has shortened the name of the folder, meaning if there are multiple folders, it will just write in the first letter of the folder and the last one will be the whole name. This saves you a lot of space on, on the screen. Another 
nice feature of the fish shell is that you can have multiple wild cards. For instance, if I list all my files in my pictures directory, there is a lot of stuff in it. And if I want just to list certain files, I can, for instance, write something like this, uh, where I want to list uh, only files with, that start with a W and in the extension, they start with J. Now it listed all those files with multiple extensions. With the wildcards, you can also list multiple files in different subdirectories. For instance, if I want to list all the log files that are in my var directory, but I'm not sure in which directory they say are exactly, I just write this command and it lists all the files in all subdirectories in the var directory. Another nice thing with fish is if you run fish update completion, it will pass through all man pages. And next time you write a command, for instance, if you're not sure about the possibilities, you can just press minus and then tab, and it will list all the possibilities that you have. And if you press tab one more, it will show all the possibilities. And then you don't have to go through man pages just to look at the options that you need. And you can also go with arrows and just choose the options that you need. If you want to look up something about fish, you can type in help in, the, in your terminal and it will automatically open the documentation for the fish shell in your default browser. Also, you can type in fish config and you will get the fish configuration in the web browser. Here you can set themes for your fish. This will not set the theme for the terminal, only the letters. If you want to see how it will look in your terminal, you can just type in fish dash config theme show and it will list all the themes and how they look. And these are these themes. You can also customize your fish theme from the from this uh, web page. For instance, you can click on any of these sections and choose your own color. And then you just press set theme and now you have different theme for your fish shell. You can customize your prompt the same way as the theme. You just pick one of those, set prompt. You can also see the default functions, aliases, abbreviation, and other options that fish shell has by default, some variables, history, and the default key bindings. And this and many more things Fish has out of the box without the need to install any plugin, any team, nothing. If you want to use plugins and teams, the managers for those that I know about are all my Fish and Fisher. And since this video is already too long, I will make another video just talking about all my Fish and Fisher. Personally, I don't use them because the default fish shell has everything that I need and the things that I'm missing, I just add, add in manually. Thank you for watching.